Doing a bit of work on the Prius tonight, trying to hack a, a problem that's been plaguing all remote start users for a while here. I think I might have a fix. So what the deal is, is the uh, when you open the doors after remote starting the vehicle, the engine is killed, and that's a safety feature. Um, I can't take full credit for this hack, but uh, I've improved upon it. So the the trick that I learned is they uh, on the internet they go to this little door pin thingy here and just uh, rig up a piece of metal or something that holds it down um, what I'm going to do is uh, I've taken this panel off inside the car here and uh, this is the actual factory wire I've cut back the black rubber insulation it's a brown wire I'm going to cut that wire and what that'll do is disable the pin. But then I'm going to uh, go one step further and I'm going to solder uh, another wire onto the pin itself and run it down the uh, raceway here. Uh, and I'm just going to hook it directly into the brain on the red white wire, which is the door trigger wire. Um, what this should do is allow the engine to stay running when you open the car door at least the passenger car door until you get into the car and get buckled up which leaves the heater on and the air conditioner on which is just so much better than losing all of your heat and air conditioning by opening the stupid door when the air conditioner is off um, this will keep the engine on and it'll also satisfy the alarm uh, because if you just left the door pin completely disabled then the CAM bus never sees the door open or close. That's not good for the alarm. And it's also a pain in the butt for uh, active arming because you know, if you use the, I'm sorry, passive arming, if you're using passive arming like I am, the, uh, the brain will rearm the car 30 seconds after you've uh, hit the unlock button on your remote, regardless of whether you open the door or not. So you kind of want that 30 second timer to reset when you uh, open the door and then close the door and then you have a whole new fresh 30 seconds to uh, to start the car. The, I haven't got to the part with the um, start button yet. There, there's still an annoyance with that in that as soon as you uh, press the brake while the car's remote started uh, it kills the engine then too. So, But at least you're in the car with the door closed in the HVAC has still been running the whole time, so it's it's far less annoying, but I'm working on a fix for that too.